update. So for today's video, it is January. So I'm starting my new series for this year where every single month, I will be doing an in-depth eye tutorial on a specific color based on the birthstone of that month. So this month is January, which means the birthstone is the garnet, which is a beautiful deep red stone, traditionally. So that is why today we've gone for a deep red eye. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I thought I'd try something new and start my video with the look so you can actually see what we're going to achieve. So please subscribe and let's go. So today I'm going to be using the XX Revolution Exodus palette. I got this new for my birthday and you will have seen me use it in my New Year's Eve Get Ready With Me but we're going to be using some of the shades in here today. And I'm also going to be using the Revolution X Soph palette. This is the Super Spice palette, you've seen me use this millions of times. And we will also be dipping into one shade from the Revolution X Soph original palette. Um, I'm not sure if you can still get this, I think you can, but if not you can find this shade in many other eyeshadow palettes. So we're going to be starting out with the Super Spice palette and we're going to be starting with this shade, Extra Spice, which is a bright red shade. I'm taking that on a medium fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting that into my crease. I am slightly winging it, although not too much because we're going to kind of do that as we go. So as I said, today's birthstone is Garnet, which is the birthstone for January. And it is most traditionally known as a red stone, which is why we're doing a red look today. However, it does actually come in lots of different colours. I'm taking a large fluffy brush, this is pretty clean, I mean it's a little bit dirty from this eye but it's pretty clean and I'm going to be blending over the edges of that red shade. I'm going to be building up that red shade again, just going in with exactly the same product over the top. There's lots of folklore surrounding garnet, so it's commonly known or commonly believed that garnet protects its wearer from illness or bad luck, bad dreams, enemies. It is also a symbol of love and friendship, which I think is obvious because of its red shade really, isn't it? Now, on a flat fluffy brush, I'm taking this deep red from the Exodus palette and I'm packing that in the outer and the inner corner of the eye. In 3rd and 4th century Rome, the garnet was worn by warriors going into battle to keep them safe. And I'm blending that out with a small fluffy brush with some of the extra spice shade on it. Um, garnet is a jewel that is favoured by royalty because of its protective powers. I think also because it's just so beautiful. And again, I'm going in with that fluffy brush. This stone is also important to Native Americans who used its healing power. And I'm gonna build up that same color again. In modern time, the garnet is seen as providing the wearer with loyalty and unchanging affection. So maybe you should get your partner or your girlfriend or your boyfriend a garnet instead of a diamond. It also encourages success in business. So maybe if your business is failing at the moment, go and get a garnet and it might help you out. I'm taking a bullet brush and a mixture of that red shade and this brown shade again in the outer and inner corners. I find it's best to work quite slowly with red shades and most colourful shades but reds and pinks especially. Just work on placing them and then building them back up. 
So on that small fluffy brush that I used earlier, I'm going to take the dark red shade from the Exodus palette, just a tiny bit, and blend out that. So we're just slowly trying to build up the depth. The same again. It's all about applying and blending. You could do this look with a cut crease or something. Um, you would just only, you wouldn't apply these dark shades to the inner corner. I find actually the hardest part of reds is making it not look pink. <laughs> because as you blend out red shades, they go pink. We're going to apply the shimmers. So from the original Soph palette, I'm taking this shimmery reddish pink shade. This is a shade you can find in many palettes. I know it was in the James Charles X Morphe palette. You can find it in multiple palettes. Um, this is the one I'm using today. And I'm taking that on my finger and I'm placing that in the center of my eye. And I'm just taking my very first red brush just to blend on the edges of that shade slightly. Now on a flat brush, I'm going to be taking this shade, this pink shade from the Exodus palette. You could have used that very top pink shade if you wanted to instead of the original Soph palette but it would have been made this look more pink than red. So I've just applied a bit of that in the center of my brush and now I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger. And then on the other side of that brush, I'm taking this white and pink flecked shade. I'm just taking a little bit of that on the brush and just tapping that in the very center, just to give it that little bit of light and then i just take um a cotton pad with a little bit of micellar water on to clean up under the eye because i don't want these red shades to mix with my concealer when i do my base makeup and then i take the flat edge to just clean up the side and make it sharp so you have to be quite careful when you're doing red under the eyes because they can very easily look like you have some infection or something in your eye. I am taking this really small little fluffy bullet brush, it's tiny, it's like a pointer brush. I'm taking that dark red shade from the Exodus palette and I'm applying that right up along the lower lash line. Just a line. You can actually leave this like that, but I prefer to blend out my shades. I'm taking a really small fluffy brush with a tiny bit of that first red shade we use called Extra Spice. And I'm gonna run that along the underside. blend out the shade and then with my inner corner highlight brush I'm going to take that white and pink shade that we used in the center of the lid and place that onto my inner corner so this is the finished look I've paired it with a deep red kind of terracotta orange um, lip with a little bit of gloss on top I think it just really ties the whole look together and really finishes it off nicely so if you have enjoyed this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment with what you want to see next and also follow my instagram and my tiktok i'm always posting over there and i'll see you next time bye